Hello dear students, I am Dr. Irfan Raza and today we are going to uh, see in detail the two related cell organelles, endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi bodies. Uh, in this lecture we will see the structure, functions, related diseases and few of the MCQs which are related to endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi operators. Uh, so let's start from the uh, endoplasmic reticulum first. Uh, if you see the nucleus here, uh, the nucleus of uh, the cell, the outer membrane of the nucleus is continuous with a sac-like structures and these uh, sac-like structures are uh, in fact spread out in the whole cytoplasm mm -hmm. and these sac-like structures are called endoplasmic reticulum. You can see there are two types of endoplasmic reticulum. The one is which are studded with the uh, granule-like appearance which are known as ribosomes. These are termed as rough endoplasmic reticulum and the other one without the studied uh, particles are uh, which are with, without any ribosomes are termed as smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth endoplasmic reticulums are involved in lipid biosynthesis and beside lipid biosynthesis they are also involved in the supplying calcium to the cellular functions and uh, metabolism of the drugs as well. So rough endoplasmic reticulum, smooth endoplasmic reticulum and they are connected with the outer membrane of the nucleus. Uh, these sac-like structures are termed as cisternae and in, inside the cisternae there is a lumen of the endoplasmic reticulum. So if you see here the endoplasmic reticulum is involved in the protein synthesis. After the protein is synthesized it is transported to Golgi operators from where it is properly packaged and move out from the uh, cell membrane or it can function inside the cell as well. So you can see the nucleus in this GIF you will see the nucleus and then you will see the endoplasmic reticulum which are if in fact the factories of the protein biosynthesis because of the presence of these dotted like structures or vesicles which are known as ribosomes. These are the ribosomes where the proteins is synthesized on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum, rough endoplasmic reticulum. These sac-like structures which are very closely associated with the rough endoplasmic reticulum is known as Golgi operators and this is the outer membrane of the cell which is known as cell membrane. So once uh, a large portion of the endoplasmic reticulum is studied, you can see with the rough endoplasmic reticulum termed as and the few very small portion of the uh, endoplasmic reticulum is without these studded particles or ribosomes. They are smooth endoplasmic reticulum. If you take the uh, rough endo and smooth endoplasmic reticulum in a test tube and centrifuge, you will find some uh, particle-like particle appearance, yellowish particle-like appearance on the top of the uh, uh, surface of the test tube which is known as microsomes. So basically rough endoplasmic reticulum, uh, these, are, uh, these are involved in the protein synthesis and during the process of cell fractionation, rough endoplasmic reticulum is disrupted to form small vesicle-like appearance or structures on the surface of the tube which is known as microsomes. So in this diagram, now we see the Golgi operators. You can see here in this shape, this is the nucleus. These are the nuclear pores and the outer surface of the nucleus is associated with the uh, endoplasmic reticulum and this endoplasmic reticulum is directly associated with the another structure, sac-like structure which is known as Golgi operators. So basically Golgi complex or Golgi operators uh, lies at the heart of the secretory vesicles. Why heart of the secretory vesicles? Uh, we, we, I will describe here and is responsible for the modifying proteins and lipids as well as sorting newly synthesized molecules to the correct destination. So once the messenger RNA you can see here the messenger RNA is coming out from the nuclear pore. They are processed by the ribosomes on the surface of the endoplasmic reticulum. Protein is synthesized. These proteins are transported to the Golgi operators. So it is the center of the, uh, you can say the secretory pathway. The protein is synthesized here, packaged here and then transported. So this is the center. So Golgi operators is known as secretory pathway center or heart. That's why and then once the proteins are properly packaged or synthesized and after synthesis properly packaged they whether they have to remain within the cell like lysosomes or whether they have to move out like a few of the important enzymes including pancreatic enzymes they have to move out from the cell membrane 
uh, they are properly directed with the by the Golgi operators. So that's why we say that in this portion we will study about the structure, functions, diseases, and MCQs of the Golgi operators. Let's see the Golgi operators here in the diagram. First, we describe Golgi operators in the eukaryotic cells contain a unique cluster of membrane vesicles known as dictyosomes, which in turn constitute Golgi operators or Golgi complex. So these particle-like structures, you can see here, these particle-like structures, these are termed as dictyosomes. Their dictyosomes come here and unite or fuse together to form membrane-like structures or sac-like structures, and these are known as Golgi operators. So this is the cis form where the protein which has to be packaged or which has to be modified comes here and this is the trans phase from where the packaged protein has to move away from the Golgi operators after packaging. So this, these sac-like structures are called cisternae and in, in, inside the cisternae, the, uh, this fluid or the space inside the cisternae is known as lumen of the Golgi operators. So once the proteins are synthesized on the uh, and rough endoplasmic reticulum, they move here on the cis face of the Golgi operators. You can see they move here on the cis face of the Golgi operators and here the protein comes. The question why proteins join to Golgi operators, what the Golgi, operator do, Golgi operators does with the protein molecules. So the answer is to the proteins, Golgi operators containing some specific type of enzymes in the lumen of the cisterne, these enzymes are responsible once the proteins come here in the lumen, they, these enzymes which are present in the lumen add carbohydrates, lipids and some sulfates on the surface of the protein. Then the next question is why carbohydrate, lipids and sulfates are added uh, to the protein molecule? The answer is these chemicals modification to the proteins are necessary for the transport of proteins across the plasma membrane. Without modification, proteins are not possible to move away from the cell membrane or move out from the cell membrane. The second important function of the Golgi operators is that they are involved in membrane synthesis as well. Few of the cell organelles uh, are made up of uh, by the membranes which are produced by the Golgi operators. So, <clears throat> Uh, from the after the proteins are packaged after the proteins are properly modified by the addition of carbohydrate lipids or sulfates they are they are properly packaged and move away from the golgi operators from the cis phase from the cis phase like you can see here now in this gif we will see that the proteins are processed here on the rough endoplasmic reticulum then they move to the golgi operators you can see the Golgi operators, here the proteins are properly modified and then properly packaged in the lumen of the Golgi operators and then after packaging a vesicle is formed, these vesicles remain inside the cell or move out from the cell membrane. So dear students, if there is any dysfunction, dysfunction with the endoplasmic reticulum or Golgi operators, few of the disease can be seen. Uh, <clears throat> If the endoplasmic reticulum is prolonged uh, in stress or prolonged endoplasmic reticulum is uh, stressed can yield or produce neurodegenerative disorders, it can produce atherosclerosis, it can produce type 2 diabetes mellitus or liver diseases or some of the cancers. So prolonged endoplasmic reticulum stress yield uh, this, this many type of diseases are directly or indirectly involved in the cause of these diseases. Similarly, the Golgi operators can also be involved directly or indirectly in the production of uh, hyper and hypopigmented macules which are, lies on the, which are lying on the surface of the skin, human skin and this is because of the mutations in the ABCB6 gene. The product of this gene is a protein which is lying in the Golgi, of, in the Golgi bodies and once the ABCC B6 gene is not producing appropriate protein, the Golgi bodies will not function appropriately and which results in the hyper and hypopigmented macules in the skin. Secondly, Parkinson's disease due to the GTP binding proteins uh, indirectly or directly related with the Golgi, op Golgi operator's dysfunction. And then due to the accumulation of some of the vacuoles in the Golgi bodies, if the vacuoles, too many vacuoles are 
uh, gathered are accumulated in the Golgi bodies. Golgi bodies get swell up, and because of the swelling of the Golgi bodies uh, syndrome, which is known as Max syndrome, results. Max means M for macrocephaly, A for alopecia, C for cutis laxa, and C for scol S for scoliosis. So a patient suffering from Max syndrome will have these clinical manifestations: macrocephaly. That is large size of the head, alopecia, no hair on the scalp, eyebrows, eyelashes, cutis laxa, and scoliosis, D-shaped vertebral column. So Max syndrome is due to the result of Golgi operators non-dysfunction because of the presence of or accumulation of too many vacuoles in the Golgi in the Golgi operators, and Golgi operators become swell up. As a result, Max syndrome can be seen. Then Rintu syndrome can also be result of the non-dysfunction Golgi operators. Now we'll go to the last portion of the lecture, that is the important MCQs. We in this lecture we have five important MCQs. Number one is dictyosome fuses to form what? You should know what are dictyosomes. These are the vesicle-like structures. They fuse together to form what? Number one, endoplasmic reticulum. Number two, nucleus. Number three, ribosomes, Golgi operators, or mitochondria. What is the right answer? Dictyosomes combine together, fuse together to form what? The right answer is Golgi operators. Thank you. The next question is, factory of protein biosynthesis is, where the protein is exactly synthesized, without which the protein cannot be synthesized. Tell me the right answer, please. Rough endoplasmic reticulum, nucleus. Ribosomes, Golgi operators, or mitochondria. Proteins are properly synthesized with the help of the right answer is ribosomes because it's not the endoplasmic reticulum. On the surface of endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes are attached which give them the dotted like appearance or rough endoplasmic reticulum. It is not endoplasmic reticulum but the ribosomes. So the right answer is Ribosomes are involved in the protein biosynthesis. The next important question is smooth endoplasmic reticulum involved in. What is the function of smooth endoplasmic reticulum? Number one, protein biosynthesis, protein modification, lipid synthesis, cell wear and tear, digestive phagosomes. Look, dear students, the phagosomes are digested with the help of lysosomes. Cell wear and tear is done by Lysosomes, they are containing hydrolases. Protein modification is done by Golgi operators. Protein biosynthesis is done by ribosomes. So only one option left, that is lipid biosynthesis. So rough, uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulums are involved in calcium beside uh, protein synthesis. They are involved, uh, beside lipid biosynthesis, they are involved in calcium transport, uh, some of the drug metabolisms, triglycerols, phospholipids, and sterol biosynthesis. So the key role of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is the biosynthesis of the lipids. The lipid biosynthesis is the correct answer. So the next question, you are lucky. You are having the uh, answer of the MCQ here. Uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum, lysosome membrane is synthesized by. The membrane of the lysosomes is synthesized by. If you know from where the lysosomes originate, you can answer the right answer, rough endoplasmic reticulum, nucleus, ribosomes, Golgi operators, or mitochondria. The right answer is Golgi operators. The next question is, Golgi operators is present in the following, except where the Golgi operators cannot be seen, which, which of the body cells, parenchymal cells, muscle cells, pancreatic cells, brain cells, or red blood cells. Keep in mind, all these cells are nucleated, so they must have endoplasmic reticulum or Golgi operators. Red blood cells, mature red blood cells are enucleated and there are no cell organelles present in the mature RBCs. So the right answer is RBCs. Thank you very much, uh, dear students. If you have any queries, any questions, you can text me in the text box and I'll, I will reply your uh, queries. And uh, if, you, if you are liking my videos, please subscribe my channel and here hit the bell icon button as well so that you can get the latest videos and thank you.